Are you photobombing me? Yes. <laughs> what are you eating today? Chips. Chips. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. This is my turn now, okay? <laughs> Good morning, welcome to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my once a month grocery haul. So this is actually for March. How is that even possible that March is going to start in just a, like two days, I think. No, in one day, two days. Whatever it is, March is upon us. So I went to Aldi today. I went into the store. You do get the best prices at Aldi if you go into the store versus doing Instacart. Instacart does add on um, anywhere from three to 20 cents, I believe, on just about every single item. So anyway, I went into the store. It's the only place I went for this month's groceries. Uh, there, There is a flyer. There are flyers out for both Pick and Save and Piggly Wiggly. It just did not work on our, in our schedule today. Uh, we were actually all in town, and so Warren dropped me off and took the kids to another store and yada yada, right? So anyway, it just didn't work to go store hopping today. So everything was purchased at Aldi, and there are definitely things I could get. Before I get into the details of all of that, uh, I did write out a really, really quick meal plan for the month. So kind of my themes, they have been really staying almost the same all the time. So I have Sunday supper, venison, taco Tuesday, chicken, which is going to be crock pot most of the time, um, new recipes, which actually I think most of them are like hamburger based, which is going to be venison hamburger for us. Friday, I did not make like plans for Friday just because we'll be having fish or something else that is a meatless meal. I know there's a chance that this Friday we may be eating out. I also know that there's a chance this Friday we might be eating out and then we'll have home uh, fish fries the other Fridays. On Saturday nights I just put down just quick so just some different quick kind of meals and honestly some of these things I wasn't even able to pick up today at Aldi. Uh, they were out of different things like for example I'm looking here for the crispy chicken salads. I like to either use that blue bag or the red bag chicken strips or chicken um, like chicken patties that they have at Aldi but they were completely out of that so I didn't pick up anything. So either I'll have to go to Aldi again sometime or I'll have to just adapt the, re the plan right. and move on. So here are some of the things that I have planned here. Some pizza rolls. This is kind of like a cinnamon roll, but instead you just make them like you would for with pizza toppings inside the dough. And then, and you wouldn't use a sweet dough. You'd use like a, you know, just a regular pizza, pizza crust dough. We'd like to have some barbecue again, a chicken and rice casserole. Not the one in my cookbook, but the one where you take the rice and then you put the Lipton onion soup mix and then the pieces of chicken over top. And I feel like there's something else with that. I can't think right at the moment, but that you foil it and put it in the oven. That that particular uh, recipe. Meatloaf and baked potato. Let's just quick run through this. Venison pot pie, steak salads, barbecue venison, venison and pepper and rice skillet, uh, steak and pepper jack potatoes, tostada pizza, taco salad, tacos, nachos, chicken noodle soup. So we're going to have some ham and, ham and cheese crescent rolls, a luncheon casserole, a beef biscuit, hamburger casserole, and then for the Saturday uh, quick meals, I just figured we'd have like one night we would do a breakfast for supper, gyros, which they only had one box, and it was broken open, so I didn't buy that, so... I'll either have to get it at another time or we'll just have to adjust that and move on. And then again, this meal, adjust and move on possibly, and then leftovers. So that's the overall plan for the month. I have not really planned out a lot of side dishes. Just because the way I have been grocery shopping, I've been actually accruing a number of bags of frozen vegetables, um, just different things that I have that I can just add in to our meals Hi again, Joe, <laughs> that I can add into our meals as side dishes. And then sometimes I just kind of plan those as I go because I'm like, oh, I'd like to make this salad or I'd like to make this dessert, that type of thing. So I didn't put on the thumbnail today how much my total was for this grocery haul. And as I go about it and showing you everything, I would love for you to like start thinking, how much do you think all of this cost? And at the end, I will tell you. Here we go. I did pick up two boxes of the crunchy fish fillets, two boxes of corn dogs. I This again is not really on my menu, but maybe we'll have it for lunch. Maybe it'll become one of those Saturday quick meals. I picked up a whole chicken at 99 cents a pound, 
I did pick up some chicken legs. Aldi was super low on chicken. Uh, I was happy to find this, and the date is February 28th, which is, I believe that's tomorrow. So I'm going to um, pop these in the freezer right away. But I found some chicken wings at $5 off. Still a lot, though. Chicken wings are very expensive right now, but we haven't had them in a really long time. And it's actually my favorite cut of, at least as a child, it was my favorite um, piece of the chicken. All right, I did get the legs. They were $1.19 a pound. I do believe they're 99 cents a pound someplace right now. But like I said, it just wasn't going to work to um, store hop right now. Some ham in case I don't have it on my meal plan, but I do like to have this. Um, actually, I do for the ham and crescent roll-ups. Have you all watched See Mindy Mom? I just watched a video for the very first time this week, and she was talking about like 25 no-cook, or I still thought most of her recipes involved some sort of cooking, but uh, she was calling them like kind of like no-cook or no-prep suppers or whatever, and something like that she called it. Anyway, one of her ideas was to take ham and cheese, roll it up in a crescent roll, and bake it. I thought that was brilliant. It's just like putting a hot dog in it, which I love. So I figured I would love that as well. Still under the meat category, I did pick up some of these snack sticks here. And then, so one turkey, one beef. I actually prefer the turkey. The beef are a little bit fattier, but I like the flavor of the beef. So anyway, I picked one of each picked up one of each. And then lunch meat, very low. I've never gotten this Castlewood Reserve from Aldi, but this was really my only option. They just, they had a bunch of packages that looked like they had been on the floor and then picked back up and put in the in the cooler. I was not going to go with those. <laughs> so I picked this up. We'll see how it is. Some beef smoked sausage. Again, it's not even on my meal plan. Maybe for a lunch one day, we'll slice up one of these, put it in with some potatoes and some onions and some peppers in my electric skillet and just kind of fry it all up and that will be a great lunch. Some bacon bits um, just to have on hand. Heavy whipping cream and two cottage cheese. The sausages, some cheese curds. I know some people have been like, hey, where have the cheese curds been? Well, they haven't really had cheese curds at the store very often, so they had them, so I bought those. The protein yogurt, I had actually Sam in mind with this, so I hope he likes something like that. And then four cream cheese bricks or blocks, whatever it is that you say in your house. <laughs> and then two boxes of the balance, which is like life, some crispy rice, corn squares, vitality with berries, the honey nut Cheerios, graham crackers. <laughs> You're giving us a cheers for that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, graham crackers. And then just a supply of crackers, the pita crackers, clubhouse, golden round, otherwise known as Ritz, and saltines. Moving on to the canned goods here. I have so many canned goods in the pantry already. I honestly don't even know where I'm going to put these, but these are all things I didn't have. So pork and beans, tomato sauce. I've already used up all of my tomato sauce, like my home canned. Well, anything that I canned regular without any seasoning. I have spaghetti sauce, one jar, I think, because I thought I used it up, then I ended up finding a jar, and then I have pizza sauce, but no regular. I picked up some tomato paste just to have on hand, some refried beans. Uh, what is this? This is some mixed vegetables, which I don't think I have any of. Peaches, mandarin oranges, cream of chicken soup, oh, and more mandarin oranges. So just a good supply. Actually, and the prices, I was a little bit disappointed in the prices. The These have gone up to $1.15, which they used to be 89 and then for a long time they were 95 So, um, But other things I noticed went down. Some prices are going up and some are going down. They only had the Pillsbury brand. They were out of their like Bakehouse brand or whatever. So I did get these because it is on the meal plan, and I wanted them. So I paid the little bit extra for those. Taco shells for our Taco Tuesday night. And then some bagels. I got one package of blueberry, one of plain, some hamburger buns for our barbecue meals, and then I also would like to make some homemade hamburger buns. I haven't made those in a long time, and I have actually two recipes I really like, so we'll have to see which one wins out for that night. But And then some English muffins. These work great, obviously, as just like a long kind of like toast or whatever. They also work great for making breakfast sandwiches at lunchtime. 
All right, so I did pick up some pears. I believe they were either $4.69 or $4.89 for three pounds. Uh, most of them looked like they were ready to eat. Some of them are a little bit green, so that's good. That is a favorite fruit around here. Some bananas. Picked up some Fuji apples. The strawberries were $1.99, so I picked up three of those. And then oranges have gone up a little bit. I've been getting them for $2.99 for three pounds, and today they were $4.99 for four pounds. So they have gone up a little bit, and but I hope that they're as good as they have been. Oranges have been so delicious lately. And then it's been a while since I picked up dried fruit. We still have a lot of dried cranberries. We bought like a big 25 pound box, Warren did one day, and so we have a lot of those, but some cherries and blueberries. I really needed a lot of fresh vegetables. So here we go, some mini cucumbers and some radishes. I have a lot of potatoes, a lot of eggs right now, so I would like to make some potato salad soon. Some celery here, a couple bags of the ready-to-go salad mix. Green, on, green onions, zucchini, fresh zucchini. I have a ton of frozen, but fresh zucchini. Uh, sugar snap peas. The Brussels sprouts were $1.99 a bag, which was a great price today, so I bought two of those. I love roasting those in the oven. Coleslaw mix. I'm happy that Aldi is starting to carry this on a much more regular basis, so that was nice to see. And then also two heads of regular lettuce and carrots. Carrots were $1.89 for two pounds, which is actually more than I have been paying lately, but it was I'm out. I'm totally out, so I just I needed carrots, so I bought carrots. I am getting better, though, at knowing, you know, by using my price book and watching the flyers, knowing when I should really stock up on something. Carrots can stay in the fridge for probably three months. They probably would still be good in the fridge. So if I were to see carrots, you know, back at $1.39, I would probably buy four bags of them just to have them so I didn't have to restock at $1.89 again. One thing of ramen, Peter's been asking for that lately. Two boxes of instant mashed potatoes. And then just a few pantry things here, some sweet relish, onion soup mix, french fried onions. I do like to put that on top of casseroles, even casseroles, even like hamburger casseroles that don't call for the french fried onions. Sometimes it's a nice addition to the top. Um, and then just a bunch of spices. So I got onion powder, a few chili powders here, I think three of those, some minced onion, garlic powder, what else do I have here? and some parsley. I needed thyme, but they don't have thyme, so I'll have to pick that up at another store. Some brown gravy mixes. I didn't know if I needed those or not, but I always buy a few just to have them on hand. And then it's funny, all of a sudden I'll be like, oh my gosh, I have 13 brown gravy packets. So then it's like, it's time to make a roast with gravy. I did get some more olive oil and another one of these vegetable sprays. Two boxes of vanilla wafers. I thought that um, there's a lot of things. I mean, obviously you can just eat the vanilla wafers or you can make, um, Warren calls them peanut butter balls, or I could make some sort of like little salad that has the vanilla wafers around the edge, that type of thing. Two four pound bags of sugar. Sugar last time I bought it at Aldi was 202 and today it was 233 or 235. So it definitely has gone up. And I do know that they have it right now, $1.99 at Piggly Wiggly. But again, like I said, I just it's just not working for me right now to get to another store, so I had to do a great big stock up. Marshmallows, and then six bags of chocolate chips, deluxe cashews, some more of these Flavor Blasted. The kids loved these the last time of the Goldfish Crackers. And then three boxes of just a variety of granola bars here. I did get some chips restaurant style chips for our nacho night so I'll tuck those up so we don't eat those up by like next week Tuesday I have I have like nine or ten days before we're going to eat those with nacho night so I'm gonna have to hold off on those and then I did pick up some of these just nacho you know the knockoff Doritos and some kettle chips a couple graham cracker crusts I made around Valentine's maybe it was Valentine's Day I can't re yes it was Valentine's Day I made one of those no bake cheesecakes where you take the cream cheese and the powdered sugar and the Cool Whip and some vanilla and you whip it all up and you put it in a graham cracker crust and you top it with whatever kind of fruit, whether you like fresh fruit. I did strawberries that night. You can do a can of like pie filling. It's so delicious and we ate it up so fast. Everybody loved it. I also picked up some gum. So three packs of gum here. 
juice, 100% um, grape juice, 100% apple juice. I didn't buy any cranberry juice because I just made cranberry juice last night. So actually, um, not with my steamer juicer, but just by putting the berries in, pouring boiling water over and canning it, and then the juice kind of, or the flavoring, leaches out into the water. And then, almost lastly here, I got six gallons of milk. So milk actually has really decreased. It's down to $1.49 a gallon. So, I, and even the whole milk. So I picked up two whole milks, for, uh, what is that, Maria? 2%. 2%, thank you. And then I picked up a few things, non-food items, some paper plates. We just opened our box of these garbage bags, which are working so much better than the flap bags. Um, these actually go over the edge, which is nice. And then I did pick up some more batteries, double A, and some plastic wrap. So I wonder if you have been trying to guess how much I spent on all of this. And if you guessed $357, ding, 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 you'd be right. That's how much it was. So honestly, I thought it was going to be more for this. Um, I did get a lot of, I, I did get a lot of meat. They're kind of like the processed meats, you know, sausages and stuff like that, which, you know, sometimes tend to be kind of expensive. So anyway, Anyway, that is everything here. So if you are signed up for my email, then you did get the, the weekly newsletter, probably last week, Monday, where I had my meal plan and you were able to print that out if that was something that was of interest to you. And if not, you can go down in the description box and you can fill that out and then you can uh, start getting my emails uh, in the future. So just little tidbits every week to your uh, mailbox, only on Mondays, once a week. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll put a couple more videos right here if you like the grocery haul. Actually, I'll put a grocery haul up here, and then at the bottom, I'll put a real life mom vlog if that is kind of your thing too. And we'll see you over in one of those videos. Have a fabulous day. This is us new next time.